The future's good. United Way recognizes that without a strong uh, Des Moines School District, we won't be able to achieve our goals that we've set for 2020 around education, income, and health. It is the intention of United Way to reduce the dropout of high school students by over half uh, between now and 2020. So we're going to have a meaningful impact in trying to continue to support those programs that allow students to come back to high school and obtain their degrees and also to be able to have a safe place for their children while they're obtaining that degree. Teachers and staff members also spoke with the group about the East High Daycare and academic support labs that are helping students graduate high school. A few students that have benefited from these additional support programs spoke to the crowd about the positive impacts the programs had in their lives. I'm going to college, I'll just say that, you know, because after seeing it, it's showing you, you know, they say life isn't all about money, but in a way it is, and you know, college will help you get money and success, you know, and I don't, it helps you not want a job, you want a career. The Lieutenant Governor toured some of the unique programs and services offered at East High. The final stop of her tour was at the Walker Building, which is home to an educational learning center and a nursery for young parents attending the high school. United Way volunteers also sat down with third graders at 10 elementary schools within the district as part of United Way's Day of Action. During the event, volunteers worked with one or two students for an hour to read through the book Good Enough to Eat by Lizzie Rockwell. Each student read the book and was led through a writing activity designed to build literacy skills with a focus on healthy eating. I started when I was in high school and uh, the program helped me so much that I want my son to get involved in. And we tried it and it went well and it improved his behavior. But I get to be a part of something and it changed me totally, completely. And I was so excited about when I heard about King Have Success, oh, I was so happy about it. Members of Backyard Boys, an after-school program at Moulton, served alongside more than 150 volunteers within the Greater Des Moines area at this year's MLK service event held at Drake University. The event was organized by the school's Spirit Council, which is working to improve student relations and cultures by celebrating the diversity of student body. Harding Middle School students expressed the emotions, troubles, and triumphs of daily life through poetry during Share the Mic, Community Voices Creating Change. Uh, it's called energetic reciprocity, building each other up rather than tearing each other down. So Share the Mic is an event where kids write their own poetry and then perform their own poetry in front of the community. It's about having a voice, it's about pulling collections of all the people that you've experienced in your entire lifetime and giving them an opportunity to speak on stage. A lot of my pieces aren't solely me, they're pieces of everyone that I've met, so it means a lot to me to be able to speak and tell my truth and it means a lot to me that these students have an opportunity to share, to share their truths on stage. And well, this affected me because now I want to do something like this when I get older. I want to make organizations for kids who like poetry and just speak what they have to feel. Your neighbors respect you, trouble neglects you, your angels protect you, and heaven accepts you.